Hello, hello from California. Uh, Sarah V here coming on doing my weekly um, kind of video newsletter. Um, and I am in California. I don't know, maybe some of you don't know, but my, my son is getting married on Saturday. It is, you know, a beautiful event uh, for all of us. But I wanted to make sure I came on here couple things. The reason why is we are not going to have our healing, normal healing circle uh, on Sunday morning. A um, couple reasons why. Um, one of the reasons is he, where he's having his wedding, uh, there is no Wi-Fi. Uh, this is in the mountains uh, called Temecula, uh, California. So there is no way that I can do it. And anyway, I wasn't going to do it um, even if there was Wi-Fi, because I really feel in these, you know, big life events, we really get to be present. And there is such incredible, incredible beauty with being present. And in my own spiritual awakening um, and finding my true self, really connecting to the woman that I really am, the practice of being present has been so, so important. And, you know, the practice of being present, you know, it, it's not easy, um, but it is, it is a way that we can really be who we truly are. That is our truth. The presence, the present in the present moment is who we are. And there is this practice that I, you know, I, I thought it would be appropriate to share with you is, you know, this, um, and I, and we've talked about it in my healing circle, this idea of living vertically, um, and I'll explain what that is. So, you know, the normal human being, we tend to live horizontally, meaning that we are either in, you know, living in a future where we're worrying and stressed out about a, you know, a, a certain um, situation in our life, or we are living from energy from our past, you know, the unhealed pain and trauma. So I say that this is horizontal living, you know, we all do it. And the, the, the beauty in being present, it means that you really are living vertically. You are living either, you know, really connected to your higher source. We all have one if we choose to believe in that. And also we are connected to our root chakra, um, meaning, you know, the mother earth, um, the truth of who we are, the, um, the healthy healed um, selves uh, that we can now identify with, you know, and so living vertically helps you stay in the present moment. You know, I want to be as present as I can with, um, you know, this whole circumstance, this beautiful ceremony that's going to happen very untraditionally. My beautiful um, son and my future beautiful daughter-in-law, she's from Hawaii. Um, and it's, it's going to be probably the most untraditional wedding, but I want to be present. And we all have this incredible choice to be present, to witness what is happening to us right now, rather than, oh, oh God, I don't know what's going to happen. And is everybody going to behave themselves? Is there going to be drama? I mean, I'm, I'm talking as the bride um, because I've been watching them, you know, create this beautiful day and they're, you know, we're so nervous that people are going to be in drama and, you know, so I'm helping them also learn how to be present. Just enjoy this, enjoy this moment, enjoy the preparation, enjoy the love that, you know, is surrounding you. You know, I've, I've, I just got here. What did I get here? Today is Wednesday. Um, so I got here um, Monday and I was with them all day yesterday. And it is such a joy to watch, you know, a young couple move into this, this beautiful ceremony and this union of love. And, you know, they're very young um, and they have a, a my little granddaughter um, 
is, is theirs. And I'm able to really witness the beginning of innocence of, um, of marriage. Um, you know, that's going to be another podcast or another email, um, that I'll talk about, but you know, it, it is, it is a beautiful, 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 um, energy of being present. And, you know, we, we, but, but the problem is, is so many people, we're just not in the present moment. We're stressed out because of what we think is going to happen, or we're the energy of, you know, the trauma that we haven't healed. Um, I, I, I feel like I've really, really healed such a deep part of myself. Um, so, so my, um, past doesn't affect me anymore in my present. So try it, you know, if you are feeling stressed out, or if you're, you know, feeling an, a trigger or energy from something that happened to you as a child, because we've all had pain and trauma, just immediately just bring yourself back to this beautiful present moment. And our breath is a, a very powerful way to bring ourselves back to the present. Um, and I, I just, I, I'm just so, so full of love and happiness this week. Um, yes, is it, is it gonna be emotional? Because this is our first um, family event with, uh, you know, big family event um, with me uncoupling from my, my, I, I affectionately call him my husband. Um, but it's a way that I can really see the, the, the choice that I always have to show up in love, to not have any judgment, to not have any regret, to not feel guilty. I can be present and I can just be you know, a vessel of love for whomever I touch in my life. So one, a couple things here, um, we will not, I will not be doing my healing circle at nine o'clock this, um, Sunday morning. I'm going to be present with my family. Um, I have, um, I have, as you know, I have finished my 11 chapter book and I'm doing this little kind of, I guess you could call it like a survey of, you know, my book is called, I Wish I Had Known. And I would love it if I could get you, I've, I've been posting it on um, social media, but if you could reply to this email telling me what, if I had asked you that question, what is something that you would have wished you had known when you were younger. And if you go to my Facebook page, you'll notice all the things that I wish I had known. Um, I won't go through it here, but if you go to my social media page, Sarah V, um, there's a beautiful post that I've gotten so many responses from. Um, so I would love to know, you know, what would you have wish you had known that you know now? And thirdly, my retreat page is open now. It is live. Um, you can go on there and see all the details for my healing, my, my healing retreats um, in Rehoboth. I'm also going to be uh, next or two weeks. I'm going to be um, letting you know where my next um, on location retreat is going to be. Um, but please check out my page on my website. Um, and the page is sarahvie.com forward slash events. I'd love you to check it out. Um, and, you know, just kind of step into the vision of what I'm trying to create. So I will see you the, the fo actually the following week, I believe it is the 9th. I'm coming on Saturday, April the 9th, rather than Sunday. And again, it's the same um, link, um, but I'll be coming on Saturday at 9 a.m. rather than Sunday. I have a, um, a marketing event that I'm, I'm involved in on the 10th. So I'm sorry for all these changes, but you know, if we just be in the present moment, um, you know, hopefully it doesn't, it doesn't affect you, but anyway, but there'll be a, a reminder email the following week for the April, the 9th, which is Saturday. I'm going to try to do another video for the following week, just to remind you anyway. So thank you so much for watching my video and I wish you love. I wish you creativity and I just wish 
for everybody to have the most beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful week. Um, and I will see you next week. Thank you so much.